as far as using our calculators. So if you have your calculator, you can make sure that it, you have it out. Okay, the point slope equation. So y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. All right, so this equation is the one that allows us to uh, solve the most easily. It's the most efficient way. So what we can do is we can use our TI-89s, the, the solve features of the TI-89, and we can come up with an answer or with a, a way to define a function that will do this entire writing of an equation for you. And so here's what it requires. One, our given order pair can't be in terms of x's and y's, so we need to replace this with h1 and k1. And so if that's the case, we take our equation here, and the y1 becomes k1, the m can stay, and our x1 becomes h1. Bless you. So all we've done is we've con converted our point slope form um, into this set of order pair. And, and so if we took this equation right here and we solved it for y, we would have the equation of a line. Okay, so now it's just a matter of defining our function. So do you guys remember doing that for slope? And let's talk through the process of defining our function. The first thing that we're going to do is we choose the define command. So that's located under this F4 tab. Choose define. We're then going to give it a name. So you want a name that's descriptive enough to remind you of what the function is. Okay, so this is, um, this is a function given a point and a slope. Okay, so I'm going to call this P-T-S-L-O-P-E. I'm going to call it point slope. So this is going to identify. So if I alpha lock it, I'm going to type in P-T-S-L-O-P-E. The what? The T is up on top. It's the one that's it's one the only one that's out of alphabetical order. All right, so we're defining this and we give it a name. I'm going to call it point slope. The reason for that is it indicates to me that I'm given both a point and a slope. Okay, so the next thing I need to do is identify the order of my inputs. So because then I named it point slope, I'm going to input my information in that same order. So I'm going to input the point first, h1, k1. And then I'm going to follow that with the slope, m. Okay, so in my function here, in parentheses, oops, deselect my alpha key. In parentheses, I'm going to enter it as h1, comma, k1, followed by my m value, close it off. So this is the order of my inputs. And then my final step is to enter the calculation that I want to occur. And that calculation is the one that I wrote right here. Okay, I can embed a solve feature within this. So I'm going to set this equal to, hit F2 solve, and I'm going to type my whole equation in just as I have it here. So y minus k1, my given, x, my given y coordinate, is equal to m, my given slope, times the quantity x minus my given x coordinate, which is h1. Close it off. Identify y as the variable I want to solve for. And now when I hit enter, I should get the, the command done. <coughs> that tells me that I've entered this in. <coughs> and so here's the, here's the way that it's entered on your calculator. And so then to go and let's test it, it's in this var link command. So second second function subtraction key is where it'll be located. And so go back to that previous problem and see if you can confirm the answer that we got by hand. 
uh, by using the calculator. So if I go back to this point, I have a slope of 4 and a point negative 1, 7. So if I go second bar link, uh, scroll down to point slope. So if I hit the button that corresponds to the P, it'll take me all the way down to the first word that begins with P. Point slope is the second one for me after that. Hit enter. So point slope, I'm going to enter my point first, negative 1, 7, followed by my slope, 4, and when I hit enter, I should get y equals 4x plus 11. And again, it confirms that I have the right answer, y equals 4x plus 11.